The dynamic has changed in the sexual abuse case at Penn State tonight. After the accused coach, Jerry Sandusky, spoke out claiming what he did with young boys was innocent. Today, an outcry from people who thought he was blaming witnesses, even alleged victims. And the number of those alleged victims keeps rising. And also today, we track down that key witness in the case, and ABC's Jim Avila is here to tell us what happened. Jim, good evening. Good evening, Diane. This could boil down to just two men, both coaches at Penn State University, who say they saw the same night in very different ways. First, Jerry Sandusky, who says he was just playing around, horsing around with a boy in the locker room, and a fellow coach who says what he saw was totally different, no game at all. It was a monstrous crime. The key witness in the child molestation case against Jerry Sandusky, former Penn State assistant coach Mike McQuarrie, today seen shopping in State College, Pennsylvania as he prepares to testify that he witnessed a 10-year-old pinned to the team's locker room shower wall in March of 2002, being raped by then-coach Sandusky. A claim Sandusky denies in a telephone interview with Rock Center's Bob Costas. I would say that that's false. What would be his motive to lie? You'd have to ask him that. We did ask him, but McQuarrie repeatedly declined comment. Can we just get your response to uh, no, sir. what Mr. Sandusky said last night? No, thank you. But in emails he sent to friends this week, McQuarrie says for the first time he not only told Joe Paterno about the attack, he told police. According to AP, quote, I did have discussions with police and with the official at the university in charge of police. Sandusky explained the alleged attack in completely different terms. Okay, we were showering and, and horsing around, and he actually turned all the showers on and was uh, actually sliding uh, across the, uh, the floor. And, um, and we were, as I recall, possibly like snapping a towel and horseplay. Sandusky's attorney telling ABC News today his client regrets showering with the boys. He's just a jock horsing around in the locker room. I think it's important for people to hear Jerry Sandusky say, I did not sexually assault kids. I love kids. They're my life. Are you a pedophile? No. Are you sexually attracted to young boys, to underage boys? Am I sexually attracted to yes. underage boys? Sexually attracted? You know, no, I, I enjoy young people. I, I love to be around them. Um, I... I, but no, I'm not sexually attracted to young boys. Now, Coach McQuarrie's new email where he says he called police or talked to police raises a whole new question about follow-up and who dropped the ball. Remember, that incident happened 10 years ago, and Sandusky was arrested this month. Diane? Thanks for your reporting tonight, Jim. I want to turn now to ABC's legal analyst, Dan Abrams. So what did Sandusky just do to himself with that interview, and why did his lawyer let him? Yeah, that's right. Going public, you heard the pause there when asked if he's sexually attracted to boys, but also the notion that he thinks he's going to engender public sympathy by saying, oh, you know what, it wasn't sexual assault. It was just showers. It was just knee touching. The notion that somehow that's going to help him? in the public is just delusional. And you were saying to me that that phrase horsing around echoes something we've read before. That's really important. It's a, it, we may be seeing the seeds of the defense. Let's listen again to exactly the language he used last night. Okay, we were showering and, and horsing around and he actually turned all the showers on and was uh, actually sliding uh, across the, uh, the floor and, um, and we were as I recall, possibly like snapping a towel or horseplay. He uses the term coursing around, and then in the grand jury report, you had the exact same language coming from one of the Penn State officials saying, look, I wasn't told about any rape. All I was told was that, that one of the officials termed the conduct as merely horsing around. So you're seeing there Sandusky using the exact same words as was used by one of the Penn State officials. Clearly, that's going to be the defense Trying here. to block it in some way. What about these numbers coming forward? Do sheer numbers have legal consequence, just the rising numbers? The numbers in conjunction with the consistency of the accounts. It's the fact that in each account you see similar types of grooming alleged. You see similar types of conduct alleged. That's what's really important here. So it's not just the numbers alone, it's the consistency of the accounts. Okay, Dan, good to have you here tonight as well.